Hey YouTube, uh, my name's Paul. I'm back on Jinzo and Tonic's channel with another GOAT format deck profile. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys my Reasoning Gate Turbo deck profile. Um, shout out to Jinzo and Tonic for letting me do these videos. Um, I'm actually going to try and get a few more here in the future. I've got a lot of really cool decks to show you guys. Um, but I wanted to showcase this one because it was one of the first decks that I ever started playing when I got into GOAT format. Um, I wanted to play something other than Go Control. Um, it gets a little stale after a while, so it's nice to switch things up. And uh, this is a really, really fun, really aggressive deck. And um, if you like OTKs, then you'll definitely like this deck. So let's get right into it. Um, starting off one Blackluster Soldier, uh, one Dark Condition of Chaos, uh, one Jinzo, and then three Chaos Sorcerer. Um, in my opinion, this is a card that you do want to see. Um, this deck's very RNG, but um, it grinds through itself really quickly, and I just feel like this is a card that helps you get your engine going, um, banishing monsters out of the graveyard to help set up the Dimension Fusion. Um, this card is, in my opinion, it should be a 3 of in this deck. Um, and then for the rest of the monsters, we used to have 1 Air Knight and 3 Sacred Crane. Um, this is another card that in my opinion it's a 3 of. Um, you just want to be able to get your engine going. Um, you do want to hit this off of the reasoning, off of the monster gate. It helps you draw cards, it helps you go through your engine. Um, and the fact that it's a light is huge, so um, in my opinion I, I do want to be playing 3 Sacred Cranes. Next up for the spells we have uh, 3 Reasoning. Uh, three monster gates and three dimension fusion this is your heart and soul of the deck this is the nine card package that lets you just grind 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 through your deck um, reasoning um, in my opinion the right number to call is eight because the card that punishes you the hardest is dark magician of chaos and even though sometimes hitting the crane off of the reasoning sets up the monster gate, they have to have both of those cards. So when I see the reasoning, especially if it's the first card that gets activated, I, I really want to call the eight because I, I don't want to have to worry about that Dark Magician of Chaos. At the very worst, and they hit the Dark Magician of Chaos off of like the first card, they're still going to get their reasoning back. So in my opinion, you just, you'd rather just eat the crane than have to deal with the Dark Magician of Chaos. <clears throat> Next up we have three Metamorphosis and three Scapegoats. This is, I was kind of back and forth on this at first, but the people at my locals kind of convinced me that this is the right way to go. Um, the Goats and the Metas just help you, not only does this help warp your monsters into much more useful stuff, but Scapegoats are good for defense, they're good for setting up the monster gate, and um, helping with the metamorphosis combo and getting some darks into your graveyard. Let's see, next up we have two brain controls and two giant trunades and two upstart goblins. This card's I. Um, this card could be three, but two is four like good in the main day i side an extra of this card and also this um and then the two upstarts just to thin your deck um got pot of greed graceful charity card destruction and monster reincarnation uh this is one of the best cards in your deck because it means that you don't have to worry so much about the monsters that get thrown away um you just go want to be careful with it and then um, for the staples, Snatch Deal, Premature Burial, MST, and Heavy. And then for the one trap, I just play the one call, the Haunted. That is it for the main deck. Next up for the side, we have uh, two Chirons. This card's okay. It's just, um, the fact that it's 18 is really huge. Um, you don't want to hit this at like an inopportune time, but this card, is sometimes a really important way to out cards like anti-spell fragrance um cards like even cards like level limit area be messenger of peace if you just uh, feel like you can't get over a floodgate and it's 
getting in the way of you doing your combos, then Chiron the Mage is usually really good for outing those problems. Um, it can crash into a Kaiku, it can run over a Jogan Spiritualist and attack core defense. Um, the thousand defense is really this card's only weakness. Um, and the fact that it's an Earth is really not great synergy for the deck. But spell and trap removal is a little bit scarce, so we have the third Trunade, and then we also have the third brain control for when we think we can use it. Um, next up, I side the Lightning Vortex, and I side the Dolnipa Duo. Um, I don't really want to see these cards game one, especially if I'm going either first or second. Like these cards are both like pretty dependent on whether you go first or second. This doesn't help with your combo at all so it doesn't really contribute to anything you're doing game one and then this is way more useful for outing the side deck floodgates than it is for a lot of your game one matchups uh, you just want to you want to be able to clear a kaiku you want to be able to clear a jaugen you want to be able to clear a threatening thousand eyes or whatever but in my opinion this just isn't really one of those cards that you want to see in your game one deck and then same deal with these cards book of moon and no one to cross out um kind of dependent on your opponent's side deck um, this is defense for threatening cards like javelin and kaiku and then this is really just like a going second card if you're going second then you put in no one to cross outs to deal with flip effect monsters but since these cards don't contribute to your engine, they're not cards that I want to see in my game one deck. Same deal with Ring and Mirror Force, just side them in for when I feel like I need them. And then these for when I feel like I need them. Against Trap Heavy decks, against Burn, um, three decrees for that reason. So yeah, that is my deck profile for Reasoning Gate Turbo. Um, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy this deck. I get a lot of nostalgia from playing it. Um, not only because it's GOAT format, but because this is one of the first decks that I started playing when I got into GOAT format. Um, it kind of opened my eyes to the fact that there were other decks out there beyond GOAT control. And one of the things that I hope going forward is that people will continue to discover new Go format decks, continue to innovate their lists and make them as good as possible. This is a revolving door format that seems to always get overtaken by a new wave of good decks. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. Um, comment if you have any suggestions, uh, if you like the deck profile, but um, yeah, I'm gonna try and get some more of these out in the future. So thanks again to, for to Jinzo and Tonic for letting me do this profile on this channel, and I'm out. Peace.